If you have to choose between investing in the Star Wars UCS A-Wing, the Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage, or the Stranger Things upside down Lego sets, which one would you choose? This is a great question that was asked in our Facebook community recently, and there was tons of great discussions. So I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I'm gonna analyze all three of these incredible sets that are in similar price points, and I'm gonna figure out which one gets my money. Welcome back to BrickBooks where we talk about Lego investing. That is buying Lego sets and holding them until after they're no longer available on the shelves before we sell them again because they've grown in value. Our objective as Lego investors is to find the winners. It's to find the Lego sets that we think will do the best, which ones will give us the best return on investment, which ones will outperform the rest of the market. And sometimes it's hard to pick between the winners because we see so many opportunities out there. Some of these sets are complete works of art and a real case can be made made for a continued demand into the future for a lot of the sets that you're going to see on the shelf. So our job then is not to try and figure out will they all increase in value, it's more to figure out which one will increase in value more than the others. Now real quick before we jump into this analysis I do want to make a very quick announcement that I think you're going to really like. I've realized that I can't cover everything here on the YouTube channel that I would love to cover when it comes to quick tips about Lego investing top of minds, things that I'm working through, or content that I see that I think is helpful. Sometimes it just doesn't make sense to make a YouTube video to cover those things. So I've decided to create a newsletter which combines all of my thoughts and tips and strategies and deals that I see and different things that I see in the community into one place that you will get right into your inbox. It's called Brick Scoop and I'm hoping to send it out weekly starting next week. So if you want tips and tricks and deals and Lego investing thoughts, directly into your inbox, make sure you click the link below to sign up for BrickScoop, it's completely free. So we'll start off with the Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage. And I say Jurassic Park, even though it is part of the Jurassic World theme for a specific reason. This set is actually based on a scene from Jurassic Park. It's got the iconic gate that we all know and love from Jurassic Park, including the T-Rex and the characters from the original Jurassic Park movie are included here. So this is not really based on a Jurassic World scene. That is the first thing we need to understand about the T-Rex Rampage set. And we don't have a theme of Jurassic Park sets, so this set is very unique in that way and big fans of Jurassic Park will need to turn to this set if they want to get those minifigures, if they want to display the Jurassic Park gate on their shelves, and if they want to relive some of their childhood with Jurassic Park. And of course the Jurassic World sets that we see released are driving renewed interest in Jurassic Park and in those old movies and are driving nostalgia which in my opinion is one of the most powerful sales drivers that there is. The T-Rex Rampage is set number 75936 and it was released in July 2019. So when it retires at the end of this year, it will have had a shelf life of two and a half years. It has 3,120 pieces with six minifigures and five of those minifigures are exclusive to this set. So they can't be found in any of the other Jurassic World sets. So with 3,120 pieces at a retail price of $250, that's a price per piece of around eight cents on this set. Aesthetically, it's a beautiful set. It's great for play. It's great for building. Both kids and adults, I think, are gonna really enjoy it. A lot of people have noted that it is missing the Jeep, which is a big omission from this set. Why would you have the gate from Jurassic Park and not have the Jeep, especially since the gate can open up? But of course, there's always a chance that in the future, the Lego group will release a Jeep or another set that can go along with this one. So who knows, maybe we'll see a Jeep in the future and that will prop up the price on this one in the aftermarket if a follow-up is released in the future. But nothing's been announced, so as of right now, we have the gate, we don't have a Jeep. The minifigures come with a plaque, which is great for displayability, and it is kind of a statement from the LEGO group that this set is not necessarily aimed towards children alone. This set is also great for adults who want to display this set. The T-Rex in this set is a buildable dinosaur and this has upset some fans. A lot of people much prefer to have the molded dinosaurs and those do tend to go up in value a lot in places like Bricklink, Brick Owl and eBay. And if this was a molded T-Rex and not a buildable one, there is a good chance that that would definitely influence the price of this set in the aftermarket. But overall, I love the set. I think it's aesthetically amazing. I'm a big fan of Jurassic Park and seeing this iconic scene in a Lego set to me 
is fantastic. And I think it will go very, very well for anyone who's a fan of the Jurassic Park and the Jurassic World movies to pair this with some other Jurassic World sets. And that also drives some collectability. Now, what about the supply and the demand on this set? Because if we want to understand which one of these three sets might do the best in the aftermarket, we need to understand which one is most demanded and if there's any of them that are oversupplied or over hoarded by resellers. The T-Rex Rampage has a sales rank on Amazon of around 21,000 in the toys and games category, which puts it in the middle spot among these three sets. One of them is a faster seller and one of them is a slower seller. It has 444 reviews on Amazon, which is another good indication of sales over time. We just do need to add a caveat that sometimes listings change and there can be two listings for the same sets and there's various different considerations when we're looking at review count on Amazon, but I like to look at it and I like to consider it when I'm doing my comparisons. So with a sales rank of 21,000 at a $250 price point, that is actually selling very, very fast. Now on the supply side, it is actually quite low. We have 17 sellers right now listed on Amazon, but I do need to point out that this is one set that has some restrictions on Amazon, even for people who are ungated to sell on Amazon. This is a set that some people are not eligible to sell on. And so that might be artificially reducing the number of people who have it listed. It could be scaring some resellers away from buying it, but there's also likely many resellers who are buying the set but are not listing it on Amazon. Now, another great indication that I like to look at when I'm trying to figure out how well a set might do in the future is by looking at any point when it went out of stock on Amazon, what happened to the price. And when the T-Rex Rampage went out of stock last April, the price immediately jumped to $380 from its retail price of $250 where Amazon was selling it at. And in retirement, I think it can do a lot better than that. So with all of this in mind, let's look at some numbers, what I would expect this set to do within about two years from retirement. So this set retail for $250 and I would put a price target on this set after two years on Amazon of around $480. I actually think it could get up that high after two years. And if you sold at $480 after buying at $250, that will give you a profit of $158, which will be a return on investment of 63%. The next set we're going to look at is the LEGO Star Wars UCS a-Wing, Lego set 75275. Released in May 2020, and by the time it retires at the end of 2021, it will have had a shelf life of around a year and a half, which is the shortest shelf life out of the three sets that we're looking at here today. This set has 1,673 pieces, which is the lowest piece count out of the three sets. And it only has one minifigure, which is also the lowest count of minifigures out of the three sets we're looking at here today. That minifigure is an exclusive to this set. It is a Rebel Pilot, and it's worth noting that that minifigure is selling for pretty good money on BrickLink right now, with 34 sales over the last six months at an average of $53 for just the minifigure alone. So we need to keep that in mind when we're thinking about what might prop up the value of the A-Wing over time. Those 1,673 pieces at a retail price of $200 make a price per piece of 12 cents on this set, which is the highest price per piece out of the three sets we're looking at. Now, aesthetically, I really like the UCS A-Wing. I know that some people are not the biggest fans and they don't think that it has enough unique features and it doesn't really stand out among the UCS sets we've seen over the last couple of years. In my opinion, it is a good entry into the UCS catalog and I think it looks great on a shelf next to an X-Wing or a TIE Fighter, but at the end of the day, it's not what I think that matters. Is it selling? Is it selling as fast as the other sets we're looking at here? In the toys and games category, the sales rank is 32,000 right now, which makes it a substantially slower seller than the T-Rex Rampage that we've just looked at at 21,000 sales rank. The review count is also a lot lower than the T-Rex Rampage. It has just 291 reviews on the A-Wing. This set has also never gone out of stock on Amazon since the listing went live. And that hints a little more that maybe there's less demand on this UCS A-Wing than some of the other sets in this same price category. Now the supply is also quite low with just five people listed right now on Amazon. And I don't think this is one of the sets that is commonly restricted. So people can list it right now and they're choosing not to, that should tell us something about the lack of supply we might see on the A-Wing over time. So with that retail price of $200, I would put a price target on this UCS A-Wing of $420 after two years on Amazon. And if you bought it at retail price and sold it for $420, then you would have a profit of $157 or a return on investment of 79%. And last but certainly not least, let's look at the Stranger Things upside down. Set number 75810, released in June 2019. And when it retires at the end of 2021, this set will have had a two and a half year shelf life. 2,287 pieces with eight minifigures and all eight of these minifigures 
are exclusive to this set and cannot be found anywhere else because the Stranger Things Upside Down set is the only Stranger Things set that the LEGO Group have ever released. This high count of exclusive minifigures will definitely help to drive the price of this set over time. Those 2,287 pieces with a retail price of $200 make for a price per piece of just below nine cents. So a little higher than the T-Rex Rampage, which has the cheapest price per piece of these three sets, but a lot lower than the UCSA wing. Now, my personal opinion on this set is that it just looks amazing. This set really stands out on the shelves when you see it at the Lego store. And it uses such a unique concept of building where you're kind of building the same thing twice as a mirror of itself. It's an amazing display piece and from what I hear, it's a really, really fun build. There's a new season of Stranger Things coming out next year. So when we think about the relevancy of this set to pop culture in the future, we definitely have that season that's gonna help to drive the demand on this set as people start to rewatch the old seasons and get excited for the new season. And there's a renewed interest around the brand in general. This set has a sales rank on Amazon of around 13,000, which is by far the fastest seller out of these three sets. It has a review count of 2,097, which again, it just blows the other two sets out of the water when it comes to number of sales on Amazon. And at a retail price of $200, to be honest, it is a little bit surprising to see that volume of sales on the Stranger Things upside down. And it's actually selling faster on Amazon than some of the modular buildings like the Bookshop, Assembly Square, and the Corner Garage. There are currently 35 different sellers that have it listed on Amazon, which is definitely the most that we've seen out of these three sets, but it's still a low enough number to not cause any concerns in my opinion when it comes to supply in the aftermarket. So with that retail price of $200, I would put a price target on this after two years on Amazon at around $450. And if you bought it at retail and sold it at $450, you would have a profit of $183, which would be a return on investment of 91% on this set. So overall, in my opinion, the Stranger Things Upside Down gets my vote. I think it will have a slightly higher return on investment after two years than the other two sets. I do think that the T-Rex Rampage set will sell for the highest price after two years of retirement, and my price target on that one being 480 versus the 450 of the Stranger Things and 420 of the A-Wing. But of course, the higher retail price of 250 on the T-Rex Rampage versus the 200 of the other two sets, that eats into the profit and the return on investment a little bit. And so that higher retail price, in my opinion, is where some of the profit margin will get lost. And that's where the Stranger Things has an advantage over the T-Rex Rampage. Now, overall, I think all three of these sets are great purchases, and I think they will all perform pretty well over that first two years. But if I'm picking one of them for my money, it's the Stranger Things Upside Down. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you might also like this one that I recently did where I ranked Star Wars UCS sets against each other when it comes to return on investment. So make sure you check that out. And if you enjoyed this, please also hit that like button because that is a huge, huge help to the channel and I really do appreciate you. So once again, I'm Shane from brickbox.net and I'll see you in the next one.